Hello, I'm Rob Boss, and welcome to the first episode of Painting Platts. Certainly glad you could join us today. In this series, we'll be creating fantastic little paintings of the Plattsburgh area. I thought today we could paint the Plattsburgh beach that sits right along Lake Champlain. So tell you what, let's either run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. And while they're doing that, let me show you what I have going on over here. Now I just have my standard old pre-stretched canvas and I've covered it in a thin even coat of liquid white. And all the liquid white does is make the canvas nice and wet and slippery, which is easy to paint on and fun to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my old two-inch brush and start off with a little bit of phthalo blue. Then you want to tap into the bristles here, which will give you a nice even distribution of color. So I'm just going to go up in here and just start dancing in a happy little sky. And I'm doing little crisscross strokes, like little X's. See that? XXX. <laughs> Sounds fun. And you just want to do as many X's as you need to fill up the whole canvas. Something about like that. Now I'm going to get a little more blue, tap it right in, and come back. There we go. Look at that. Now you'll notice the liquid white in the background is bringing out the blending and the color of the blue, lightening it up, which is what we want. There we go. All right. Just a little bit more. For the bottom layer. All right. And now I'm going to go into a little bit of a darker blue to darken up the corners of the sky. And we do this because this will draw the viewer's attention to the center of the painting. Just like that. There we go. Right in both corners. All right. And when that's all done, very gently, just go across the whole sky. Blend it all out. There we go. Now, here comes the fun part. Now, when you want to clean your brushes, you want to use odorless paint thinner. I have a bucket of it right here. So I'm just going to swish that around. Shake it off. And then speak the devil out of it. <laughs> Alright, I think now we'll do a little bit of some happy clouds. So I'm going to grab my old one inch brush here and go into a little bit of titanium white. Just load in all that color. See that? There it is. And we'll go up here and maybe our cloud lives right there. Here it comes. Look at that. I'm doing little little circular motions. Like like little tiny circles. Little tiny circles. Look at that. Alright. Load a little more color into that. And up we go. There we go. you and your painting, you can decide where your clouds live, because it's your world. And we'll just dance in those floaters right there. Just let them float around like a little cloud. There. All right. You know what? Shoot. That was fun. Let's, let's give them a little friend. So we'll go back up here and do those little tiny circles. There we go. Look at that. Again, this is your world. You can put them wherever you want. Now, after this, we're going to grab ourselves a dry two-inch brush and come up to the bottoms and with just the tip, very gently, 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 just blend in that bottom. There we go. Just blend it all out, both bottoms. And then real quickly, just beat off, come back up, and fluff the tops. Just fluff up those floaters. There we go. Now, very gently, just, just whisper like, go right across. Blend it all out. There. And just like that, you have two happy little clouds. All right. Tell you what, shoot. Let's do some little distant mountains. So, I'm going to grab my painting palette knife and go into a little bit the dark sienna, just a little bit of the black, and just the least little bit of sap green. And we're going to mix that up nice, pull down that color, wipe off the brush, and then cut across. And you'll see you get a little roll of paint right there. 
Yeah, we'll go up here and maybe our mountain lives right here. Here it comes. Look at that. Now, people are always telling me mountains are the hardest things to make. And they always make mistakes on them. But they forget. There are no mistakes in painting. Bring down all that color. And there's beautiful mountains across Lake Champlain over in Vermont. There we go. Now, after that, you want to grab yourself a little two inch brush and pull that color down. See that? It's that easy. And you want to make sure you follow the angles. It's really important that you follow those angles. There we go. Pull it all the way out. Tell you what, let's, let's give him a friend, you know? Everybody, everybody needs a friend. We'll come back up here, mix up some more black and sap green. Pull it down, wipe it off, cut across, and here we go. Round two. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm doing these little paintings, I get to thinking, I wonder if somewhere out there there's a perfect painting. I wonder if there's somewhere out there that if I were to paint, it would just be the most perfect little painting I'll ever do. And maybe your perfect painting is different than mine. And that's okay. Because everyone's different. And that's what makes the world such a wonderful place. I'm going to pull down that color again. There we go. Mountain number two. Whew. You got to make the noise that helps you focus. There we go. Two little mountains. Just chilling. Hmm. All right. There we go. Now, it's about time we move into that Lake Champlain I keep talking about. So, we'll come back up to a little bit of the darker blue and mix it with some of the phthalo. Just load up all that color. And we'll go right in here. Now, if you're still water, you would want to pull from the outside in like that. But... We're just going to go right in, because there's a bunch of waves just crashing around. There we go. Just like that. There. Just load it all up with that blue color. Go right across, right to the base of the mountain. A little bit more blue. Just load it right up. <laughs> Shoot, I love water. I can't live without it. Like that, we have a nice little lake. Simple as that. Nothing crazy. There. Now, let's go into our fan brush here. And like I was saying, there's some little waves hiding out in there. So we're going to load this little fan brush up with color. And we're going to just go across. Just like that. Alright, little, little waves in the distance. You can see them. Don't go out too far, though. It's a little dangerous. Hmm. Here we go. Look at that. Look at those little waves. A bunch of little fishes swimming around. There we go. Now, very simple. All right. I think it's about time we make ourselves a little beach. Some little sand. So we're gonna grab a little bit of the dark sienna. And a little bit of the titanium white. And get a little bit of a sand like color there. And we'll go right in here and just start painting away. Good thing about sand is that it flows every which way it wants. So we'll do the same. There we go. Look at that. Simple as that. We got ourselves a little beach. I love dipping my toes in the warm sand and looking out on the lake. It's just one of life's beauties, I tell you. Hmm. Now, when we get to the foreground, we want to make this a little bit darker. So, dip it to a little bit, just a, just a nice little bit of black. And 
come back down here and paint her in. There we go. A little bit more because that liquid white is bringing out all that, all that nice light. Bring it down. There we go. Darken that up. See that? There we go. It's getting a little muddy. <laughs> Just like that, we have ourselves a little beach. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean my fan brush here, so just load that up with the paint thinner. Just wipe that off on there. We don't wanna beat the dove out of this little guy. <laughs> oh, now, I think on this beach, there's a few little, little bushes living around there. So we're gonna go into the sap green, a little bit of that leftover Dark Sienna. Just load that up with color there. And let's see, maybe, maybe there's some little bushes right, right around there. We don't care. <laughs> Phew. We're just having fun. Now remember, this is your world. You can put your bushes wherever you want. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> just let them dance in the wind. Let them, let them be free, you know? I wonder what little critters live in these little bushes. Hmm. Anyway, that reminds me. I have a little critter friend I'd like to show you all. I uh, love raising these little squirrels as babies and nurturing them until they're free and able to go into the wild. So with me today, I brought a little gray squirrel who's only a few weeks old. Thank you. I have him in this box here so he doesn't run around and uh, he might be sleeping. So be quiet. Hey, little guy. How long was he in here? Peanuts? This is KINKS, which stands for Collectively Inspiring Nacho Hair Students. We like to promote people to embrace their natural hair and just love who they are. Um, every spring semester, we have a hair show. So if you're interested in modeling, hairstylists, and a makeup artist, um, this is something to look forward to every spring. in a world run by entertainment. One club will defy all odds. And reveal the secrets of film. Join the revolution, fight back. Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Warp is a world music radio station run by students. You can take two classes to get involved in the Warp. First, 209, where you get introduced to the radio world, practicing running a DJ board and being on air. And then 409, later in your college career, where you get a Warp management position, like news director, program director, and etc. It's a great time to further your skill and dive deeper into the radio world. Tune in to WARP, Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel 10, Plattsburgh, New York. Welcome back to Painting Platts. If you're just joining us, we're painting the Plattsburgh Beach that sits right along Lake Champlain. So we'll just jump right back into it and start putting in a happy little tree. So I'm going to take my palette knife here and dip into a little bit of that leftover dark sienna and a little bit of black. And cut across. And let's say our tree starts right about here. There we go. And I'm just doing the chunk of this. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just build it up. A nice strong oak, let's say. There we go. There's this one beautiful tree that I love sitting under on the beach. You get a nice view of all the critters and lovely people walking around. There we go. Nice. And if you want, you can put a palm tree or whatever you'd like in your painting. This is your world. Painting should be very freeing and fun. 
That's the best thing about painting. There are no rules and there are no mistakes. There we go. All right. Looks like that trunk is nice and we'll start branching out, giving them some limbs and arms and a bunch of, bunch of crazy things. There we go. Let's give him, let's give him two arms. Maybe he's reaching up to the sky saying, I love being a tree. There we go. <laughs> Trees are very important to all creatures, really. They help us breathe. They are homes for others. They really are one of nature's wonders and beauties. There we go. Look at that. Nothing crazy. Just let them float around, just like those happy clouds up there. Maybe they're talking to each other. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to grab a nice small thinner brush and wet it with a little bit of paint thinner and go right back in to that dark oak color. And we'll go right back up here and just start doing some some little little branches, nothing nothing crazy. Just let them flow any which any which way it wants. There. Anywhere it wants. Look at that. I wonder if there's squirrels living in that tree. <sighs> there we go. All right. Look at all those little doers. I think in my next life, I'd like to be a tree. A happy one, of course. There we go. Look at that. Now, before we get in to the leaves, I just remembered there's a little, little rope fence that runs along the entire length of the beach, so I say we add that in. So, come down here with a palette knife and just start etching in some little posts, just like that. There we go. There it comes. See that? Simple as that. A little more black there. Here's another post. Maybe this is keeping out all the polluters. Hmm. I don't like them. I'll tell you that. Now, come back with that small brush. And we'll start painting in the rope. Whew. Look at that. Like I said, you gotta make those little noises. Helps you focus. Hmm. There we go. Something about like that. And last one, a nice rope fence. Now, it's time we hit these trees. So I'm gonna go into a little bit of the sap green and just a tiny little bit of black ivory. And we'll go back up here and just tap away. Just tap in wherever you think little leaves are living, just floating around, giving us shade helping us breathe, whatever you'd like, they're there for you. This is a big tree. It's almost overtaking that mountain in the background. Hmm. There we go. And we'll come back later and fill in those highlights to really make it shine. Fill it right up. Make your tree special. Make it unique, just like you. Everyone's got their own world. I'm using a flat circular brush for this one. Helps it spread. Spread around all those leaves and limbs. Here we go. Just like that. 
screws may take a little bit longer, but I tell you, once they come out, whew, amazing. It's getting sticky. <laughs> that off clean it off a little bit with that paint thinner I got a little grate in the bottom of this that'll help knock off the paint real well shake it off just give it a little little bit of a beating just the tip you know there we go all right now go into a little bit of yellow ochre maybe just a little little kiss of sap green but mainly yellow ochre and now we're doing the highlights. And tap away. Same thing. Just breathe that life into it. There you go. See that? Already looks more alive. Hmm. I think I might go to the beach after this. Just swim around. Take a look at all the critters. There we go. Maybe there's some buried treasure somewhere. Hmm. There we go. Just tap away. Do not hold back. It's all in the flick of the wrist, like those kids say. There we go. All right. And just like that, I believe we have ourselves a finished painting. I want to thank you all for joining us on our first episode of Painting Plats. So from all of us here, happy painting, and God bless, my friend. Hello, Robert. Blake? Just want to wish you good luck on your show tonight. Can't wait to see how it goes.